it's me and today is Darman Monday and we're gonna be watching a video about a student who gets suspended over the dress code. Let's watch. I hope they accept Amber. <laughs> hey Principal Adams. Your shorts, they violate the school dress code. No they don't. How so? Let me have this. Put your arms down straight. Aha! Your hands reach further than your shorts. Hey! I just have really long arms. This isn't fair. Also, why are you looking at my shorts? That's pretty sussy, you baka. Oh, well, not just because I have long arms. Oh, I don't want to hear any excuses. Take she this. She actually said it. I'm writing you up. What? No, she can't help it if she has long arms. It doesn't matter, girls. Rules are rules. But uh, what about him? His arms are clearly longer than his shorts. <clears throat> His shorts are not creating a distraction to learning. Well, I'm sorry, but my shoulders are? Check that out. Girl, the only one distracted by her shorts is you. Just because I'm a girl that makes what I wear a distraction? That's not fair. Two more of these and you'll be suspended. Do people really get suspended for a dress code? I thought you'd get detention. I got dress code in once. It was a windy day during a fire drill and I was wearing a skirt and the skirt kind of like ugh, flew up a bit. And this teacher came and snatched my arm. And literally dragged me to the principal's office. Like, I saw a cheek. You should be ashamed of yourself. They made me wear a doo-doo stained loner. You can't be serious over my shorts? That's insane. Our dress code doesn't even make any sense. Yeah, someone should really look into it. But what if you got long arms? Those shorts aren't even that short. She just does not like you. Oh, there she is again. What do you think you're doing? I'm just walking to class. Why? Not with that tank top on, you're not. What? What do you mean? It is clearly against the dress code. So are the sweat stains under your pits. But that ain't none of my business. Girls are not allowed to wear straps that are less than three fingers wide. This is not allowed. What if you just got fat fingers? Like measuring things by fingers does not make any sense. Also, yes, we weren't allowed to wear tank tops either. I don't see a problem with what she's wearing. Yeah. I mean, we wear shirts like that all the time. Yeah. Look, less than three fingers. I said girls cannot wear straps like this. Hey, yo, that's not fair. That's not fair. This dude, they're basically wearing the same thing. In 2021, y'all cannot give a dress code to girls and not the guys too. Why should a dress code only apply to the girls and not the boys? I am not going to keep explaining this to you, Amber. Ted and Alex's shoulders are not distracting. Yours are. Um, if a guy had really nice shoulders, I would be distracted. More so than a girl's shoulders, you know? Take a good look at that. It's kind of boring. But some dudes, they got some good looking shoulders. And like I say, I've been distracted. So if you want to fix the rules, I would appreciate that. I'm going to write you up. Again. Dang. What? No. How does it make sense that girls should get punished because some boys get distracted so easily? Shouldn't she be talking to the boys then and not the girls? Stop getting distracted by shoulders, guys. Then I can wear my tank top in peace. I have a jacket in my backpack. I'll just put it on over my shirt, even though it's 100 degrees outside. Good. Good. Suffer. But it still doesn't get you out of this. You know, this sounds personal. Did your husband follow her on Facebook or something? You girls won't believe what I found. What's up? I've been doing some research, and it turns out the school dress code was written in 1919. Oh, no wonder it's so out of touch with reality. 1919. What? Y'all were still wearing bonnets back then. Jean shorts didn't even exist. And I've got a lot of other facts about why it needs to change too. I made a little presentation. You see, it. Hello, students. I have an important announcement to make. Next week, the superintendent is coming, and I want to make a great impression. I have put together a short video about the dress code requirements so that everybody follows them. She already like one step ahead. You try to make a PowerPoint, but she already made it. What's the point following a dress code if it's so out of date? Yeah, Amber did some research and found out it was written over a hundred years ago. Boo! Get off the stage! Nobody cares! I'm trying to eat my lunch! Okay, well then, great! Amber will have no problems following everything in this video. <laughs> <laughs> she really made a video about it. Drop your hands. Ah, she hired the Dark Man production crew. Pull. What? Do you have to like pull your leggings to make sure they're not too tight? What? This is ridiculous. Repeat after me. I will not wear short shorts. I will not wear short shorts. The school was a prison! 
prison? I don't even think prison got these rules. How much she pay these students? I will not wear yoga pants. Y'all can't even wear yoga pants? What's the point? Literally, the comfiest pants off limits? I hope this video makes the dress code requirements crystal clear. I'm confused. All it shows is what the girls can't wear. What about the boys? The boys don't have a problem following the rules. It's the girls I'm worried about. The dudes are just wearing tank tops. Guys can wear whatever they want. But if a girl shows her shoulders, it's over. That's because they don't have any rules to follow. You know, you have a lot of nerve talking back <clears throat> to me, Amber. Especially since you're on the verge of being suspended. I can't believe they could get suspended for this. I could grab you by your collar and just <laughs> And that'll have the same punishment as wearing short shorts on three different occasions. Pretty sus. This isn't fair. What did you say? The school dress code isn't fair. I've done a lot of research and I've put together this presentation. You see? First off, it's out of touch with reality. The dress code was written in 1919. Are we seriously going to enforce rules that were written during a time when it was illegal for girls to even voice our opinions? Exactly. Oh, Amber. Oh, quiet, you two. She's angry that she doesn't have anybody backing her up. It completely discriminates against girls. I've read every page of the dress code. There's 37 mentions of what girls can't do. You know how many there are of what boys can't do? No, no, I don't. Zero. Why don't they have any restrictions? Yes! Thank you. Do not get involved in this. You know why, Amber. The boys don't wear anything that's distracting. Uh, yes they do. Y'all ever seen a guy in gray sweatpants? Quite the distraction. When I was wearing my tank top earlier, were my shoulders distracting you? No, not at all. It wasn't even until Principal Adams brought it up that I even noticed. Teachers really think guys down bad when they see some bare shoulder. You see, not all men are pigs. Just like not all girls aren't objects with just legs and shoulders. We deserve to be heard and seen and respected. And ankles. Don't forget the ankles. Fine. Since you're so smart, Amber, what exactly do you propose? A fair policy for everyone. No gender-specific rules, no double standards. If girls can't wear short shorts, neither can the boys. If girls can't show their shoulders, neither can the boys. We need to have equal rules for all. And then everybody started clapping. Like it's not that deep, bro. They're making such a big deal out of this issue. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> would never work. That is the most ridiculous idea I have ever heard. Then you must not have heard a lot of ridiculous ideas. That is the most reasonable idea. But Principal Adams- That's enough, Amber. You know, I have tried to be nice to you. Has she been nice? I don't think she's been nice. I think she's been quite rude, actually. Especially considering you're once again violating the school dress code. What are you talking about? My straps are more than three fingers. I'm not talking about your tank top. I'm talking about your ripped jeans. Oh, man. I read the whole dress code. There's nothing in there that talks about ripped jeans. Oh, well, maybe we should start a new rule. Hey, yo, you can't do that. You're just a teacher. These rules was built in 1919. No girls will wear ripped jeans to school. Well, I have the girls gotta go. I'll make a new rule. No unflattering button tops, especially not turquoise. If you wear turquoise, you're getting fired effective immediately. What are you doing? Teaching you a lesson. <laughs> I'm going to duct tape those holes. Uh, what? <clears throat> no, you ruined my jeans. <laughs> they already look ruined. You have no choice. She's so rude. It's either this or you get your third violation and you're suspended. So what's it going to be? Uh, yo, you can't humiliate well, your students like this. In that case, I'm also in violation of the dress code. Sit down, you're a boy, it doesn't apply to you. So you'll have to write me up too. Sit back down. <laughs> I said girls can no longer wear ripped jeans. It's the internalized misogyny for me. Does this school got one teacher? No, I'm sorry. Fine. Then you've given me no choice but to suspend you for one week. I tried to give you so many chances, Amber. Well, let her be the principal. Now, you're suspended. Uh, if it means not seeing your face for a week, bye. When Amber gets home, she's so upset about everything. She thinks about what to do and then decides she's not gonna stay quiet. Uh, I would be suing the school. <laughs> so she makes a video about what happened. Oh, so she gonna make she a YouTube video about, about it. She tells a story about how she got suspended and points to all the Viral. reasons why Instantly. the dress code is unfair. Amber's video racks up lots of views. It gets thousands of comments from students, parents, and even teachers all showing support to change the dress code. Our girls are not a distraction. Clothing does not define our daughters. What do we want? Equal rules for all. Our girls are not 
distraction. Where are all the other students? Um, I don't know. And what are you wearing? Those are way too short. Really? Well, let me see. Oh, shoot. You're right. You're right. Oh, put your jacket back on and cover yourself. You know the superintendent is going to- Principal Adam, what is going on out there? Don't worry a thing about what's going on out there. It's just a few people are a little upset about the dress code. It's outfits like that that make it hard for students to concentrate at school. You know, this whole week we learned nothing but what we can and cannot wear. You know, all these things that are not gonna help us in the real world. I'm going to write you up. If you're going to write her up, then you have to write me up too. You're right. Fine. <laughs> I will. Just give me a moment to write her up. Stop it. I am you're so sorry about this. I'm going yourself. to discipline these girls. Discipline them for what? For violating the school dress code. You may as well write me up too then. Oh, good lord. Oh, no, not the ripped jeans and the crop top. Oh, oh, straight to jail. Me too. In fact, you're going to. He got the short to shorts too. All of us up. That's a lot of writers. Guys. You're gonna be real busy today. Oh, what's up? Hey, hey. Principal. What in the world is going on? We all stand for Amber. And if you're gonna suspend her, you're gonna have to suspend all of us. Because <laughs> we plan on dressing like this every day. Equal rules for all. Equal rules for all. Equal rules for all. Equal rules for all. Quiet! Shut the heck up! I don't know what's going on at this school, but 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 this? This is completely unacceptable. Oh, I know. You're getting fired. Don't worry, I'm going to discipline each and every one nah, of you. Nah, you getting disciplined. For what? That's what I came here to tell you. We're getting rid of the school dress code. What? The only thing I care for, my purpose in life, is to enforce the school dress code. How could you do this? You lose the dress code, you lose me. You can't Toodaloo. do that. Bye-bye. I can do this because I'm the superintendent. Every student that has a dress code violation on their record will have it removed immediately. Woo! From this day forward, we are going to have equal rules for all. Oh, I thought they were gonna get rid of the dress code violations, because obviously you can't show up to school in like a thong. Somebody would do it. You don't have to have a dress code, but be reasonable about it. I still can't believe I got into the UCLA. I know, I was so nervous opening my acceptance envelope. with like, wow, was oh, <laughs> You still haven't heard from them? I heard they send out their acceptance letters first, so that probably means that I got rejected or waitlisted. Hey, honey. Hey, girls. Hey, boy. Hi. Amber, this came in the mail for you. <gasps> oh my gosh. There it is. <laughs> this is it. My future is in this envelope. Open it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, it says, yeah. Dear Amber, we regret to inform you that your college application is denied. Do you think it was because of the suspension? Maybe they didn't remove it. Yeah, maybe. Or could just be that I... <sighs> I'm just kidding. I got it. No, I'm just kidding. Oh, get out of here. Don't play with me like that. Yay, happy ending. But anyways, that's all for today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit the like button in the face. And make sure you turn on notifications. Click, click. And subscribe to the Wolf Pack. And check out Darman's channel in the description below. I love you guys so much. Thanks for watching. Bye, guys.